Hello, second graders. I'm so glad that we're all into time and money, and let's get started. So we have learned this week, you all know how to identify coins, and we have these collections of coins up top that we want to look at. I see that I have one, two, three quarters, I have a dime, I have two nickels, and I have two pennies. The first thing I want to do to make counting this collection of coin easier is I want to put them in order of their value. I know that a quarter is worth 25 cents, and that's the biggest coin, the coin that has the most value. So I'm going to line up all my quarters next to each other. I know the next coin with the largest value is a dime. So I'm gonna put the dime right next to the quarter. After the dime, there comes a nickel, and a nickel is worth five cents, so I'm gonna put that right next to the dime. And next I have my pennies. This coin has the least value, so I'm gonna put them right next to my nickel. Now my coins are all in value order, and it's going to make using coins on a number line super easy. I have a number line right here that goes from 0 to 100. If you'll notice, there's little tick marks, and each of those tick marks represents 5. So if I were to skip count by 5s on this number line, it'd look like this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So each space right here represents 5. And I know this is worth 25. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make one big hop from zero to 25, because I know this quarter is worth 25. And then I'm gonna put my quarter right here, and I'm going to write 25 on my tick mark underneath. The next thing I'm gonna do is do my next quarter. I know that's also worth 25, so I'm gonna hop five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I know that I have this quarter done, so I'm going to drag that quarter down, and I'm going to write 50 underneath. I have one more quarter, so I'm going to do the same thing one more time. I'm going to drag this arrow up. For you, you're going to draw your arrow, and I know it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I'm going to have my quarter sit right here. And I know 50 plus 25 is 75. So 25, 50, 75, that's how much three quarters is worth. Next I have my dime, and my dime is worth 10. So I'm gonna hop two spaces, and that is 10. Five, 10, I'm going to drag my dime down. I know that 75 plus 10 is 85, so so far I'm at 85 cents. Now I have my two nickels left. I'm gonna do one at a time here, guys. Oop. Let's hop five because a nickel is worth five. And we are going to write 90 because I know 85 plus five is 90. I have one more nickel left. So let's drag him on down. We're going to hop another five because 90 plus five is 95. We're not done yet. We have our little guys over here. And they are worth one. So this is the easy part. I just have to count by ones. So 95, 96, 97. So for me, this is a little scrunched, but on your giant timeline, it should be okay. I know that the value of my coins is 97 cents. Good luck learning.